I'm going to have a, a quick run through now with you on cards, apart from trade cards that you include in your action deck, Blood Red Skies. Uh, these are a skills, theatre cards, and doctrine cards. Doctrine cards, you typically only get one of them unless you're playing that large game. Theatre cards, you get two of them. Uh, ace skills, obviously, depend on how many aces you've got. A normal ace, a level 5 ace, pilot skill 5 ace, I should say, uh, gets one ace skill that you get to pick from the ones you have available to you. Uh, we're doing some named, named aces as well, which actually get two pilot skills, because we're just blatantly favouring them. They can vary a lot. They're, they're not world-destroying in themselves, but they're often quite handy, and they just give that little bit of extra extra soup to the aces that they should have. Theatre cards are, are an interesting one. Obviously, they're, they're tied to the theatre you're fighting in. So the home advantage card that we can see as an example there will come in during the Battle of Britain. The RAF obviously has home advantage. Later on, when you get into Northwest Europe, uh, it turns into the, the Germans, the Luftwaffe has a home advantage card instead. The third card that we're showing here, the Doctrine card, that can vary a lot according to where you are and when you are during the war. Uh, I've used the Battle of Britain card as an example here for the RAF, which is a defensive tactic, which is basically getting your nose onto the, uh, the opposing plane as soon as possible. Other people have got things like aggressive tactics, high altitude performance, low altitude performance, and so on. Uh, Doctrine is one of the most flexible kinds of cards, and uh, one that's ripe for experimentation, I think, in the future as well. So, that's Ace Skills, Theatre Cards and Doctrine Cards in Blood Red Skies.